On any given day, I could be out in the field on a boat. I could be collecting sediment or fish to bring back to the laboratory. I can be in the laboratory conducting experiments. I can be sitting down at my desk analyzing data as if I'm sort of a crime scene investigator because it's always about a question to be answered. My name is Meg Pinza and I'm a project manager at Newfields Northwest in Port Campbell, Washington. Newfields is an environmental consulting firm. The main focus is, are there pollutants or contaminants in this material that could be harmful to the environment and also to people? That's our ultimate question. Typical studies that we run here at the lab, they're called bioaccumulation studies. And that simply means, can contaminants move from sediment or water? Can it move into organisms that people eat? And then ultimately, can it end up in the tissues of humans? One of the bioremediation studies that we do here is we use fungi or mushrooms to clean up pollutants that are present in sediment. We will screen them to see which fungi is good at cleaning up metals, which is good at cleaning up oils. We have a library of over 200 different fungal species that we can choose from. In the case of mycoremediation, myco means fungi, we're using fungi as our remediation tool. Once you've cleaned up the site, you want to have your plant communities come back in and start to grow again in the soil. I feel rewarded because at the end of the day, we're taking pollutants or contaminants that could be harmful to animals, could be harmful to people, and we're cleaning them up.